For our stock of the hour, biggest decliner in the S&P, Take-Two Interactive. Shares falling after reports that its Rockstar Games unit may not be able to release the highly anticipated Grand Theft Auto 6 by spring of 2025. Abigail Doolittle joining us for a little bit more on this. And I don't know if you remember, Abigail, back in December when they finally, after months of delay, finally said, look, we're working on this. It'll be out by 2025. Shares plunged in because nobody believed it was going to happen. And now we're learning this may be pushed out to 2026. It sounds like you have some passion passionate yeah. interest in this yeah. room, yeah. perhaps for your own gaming yeah. interest. Uh, I am not a gamer, so it's interesting to always see the am amount of buzz that is created over that. But that's exactly right. There was that plunge at that time. And this has been the major overhang on the stock that this game would not come out on time. So we have this report today coming out where it actually came out on Friday that the game could not, may not come out when it's expected to in the yeah. 2025 window. Right now, the expectation is the release uh, for spring. Now, the reason this matters is uh, Analysts, some analysts think it could sell 40 to 50 million copies in its first year uh, until it comes out. Apparently, the NBA and the WWE games, which you may know more about and yeah. than me, and maybe I don't know about you, Alex, if you're a gamer or not. Um, but the expectation is that the that uh, Rockstar will deliver this by the spring of 2025. If it doesn't, it means a massive hole in revenues because right now <laughs> revenues next year are expected to grow 34 percent up to 7.1 billion from 5.3 billion on the success of that game. So that's basically $2 billion uh, in, in, the, uh, in the mix. I, I didn't know that sometimes these cost more than like a movie to make. That kind of blew me away a little bit. Um, and I, ha I have to wonder, is it bringing down other gamers too? Because this would be a big deal all around? Uh, it's, uh, it's more of an idiosyncratic story. It's interesting that you're saying that though, Alex, because I was talking to one of our colleagues about this, because again, I'm not a gamer, but he was talking about how involved it is. I'm not surprised to hear, because if you can go into all these different little worlds and play it this way. But yes, we, uh, we basically have the other stocks mixed. But in related news, to some degree, it's interesting, um, these games are tracked on app selling basis per week. Uh, uh, Ubisoft is the one that had the worst week. Take two, okay. Um, but again, you know, in terms of this being the major risk for the stock, the stock was up 30% into today from Friday. This is, you know, causing it to go. In fact, it's back below its 200-day moving average, so sellers 